All right, so this is a little different in this class than maybe some of your other classes. Since we're doing creative tech projects, I can't really have you take quizzes and write tests and things like that. So we do it a different way. And we do it by making a proof of work video. And that's what this one's all about. So let me tell you how you do this. First thing you need to do is pick four reflective questions from the 40 reflective questions that I have linked below this video. Okay, I have them printed up, but you don't need to print them, but you need to pick one from each category. You can see I've picked the top one from each category. Please don't do that. I just did it for simple reasons, but just pick one that you feel would be appropriate to what you're trying to show your proof of work, okay? And then you record yourself in like what I'm doing right now on my MacBook in what we call a confessional video you see these on like Big Brother and other um, type of uh, reality shows where they talk right to the camera, okay? Just like I'm talking to you. Make sure you have a nice quiet place and the audio is good. You know the normal stuff. But you're gonna answer these questions from the heart, okay? You're not going to memorize, you're not going to have a script. Just answer them from the heart, okay? Because I grade this video, okay? So when you get a grade for this class, it is from what you produce from this video, okay? and also in whatever you've produced for the tech too. Okay, so you've got that. Then you're gonna add, um, you're gonna go into iMovie, you're gonna bring in those videos of you uh, answering each one of these questions, the four questions that you have, and then you're gonna put a title in that asks that question so that the viewer understands, oh, this is what you're talking about. So my first question is, how much did you know about the subject before you started? So obviously that would be the title I would put up and then the next clip would be me answering that. Okay, so you have that, put it all together. Then the final uh, few things you need to do is put, of course, uh, B-roll on top of that. I don't wanna see your wonderful talking head, the entire proof of work video. I wanna see what you've done, okay? So let's just take a couple of examples. Let's say you're doing one on coding, okay? So you go ahead and you answer all these things like, what did you know about the project? Well, I didn't know anything about coding. You know, whatever you want to do, make sure your answers are kind of drawn out a little bit, not too long. Your proof of work video should be no longer than two and a half minutes. Okay, so two and a half minutes is your limit. And, and then B-roll would be of showing you coding, showing those type of things. And, and as you do it to answer all those questions, the final thing you should do is show your final project. Okay, so if it was coding, you've got to show what you made with coding. If I was doing the robotics one, uh, let's say the robotics one where you actually have to beat three competitors. So I would talk about my reflective questions. I would put B-roll on top of that, maybe me building the robot, me programming the robot, me getting ready for competition. But then the final one should be the actual thing that you need to do, and that is showing a video of you beating three other robots. Okay, uh, let's say it's the digital photography one. So you're reflecting on what you've learned about mobile photography. And then of course you finish off by showing the, uh, I think it's 30 shots that you have. So you'd wanna show those really fast, but put them all in there so that you've got a gallery of showing the proof that you did the work because that's what I look at to give you your grade, okay? Now, the other thing is that if it's really great and I wanna kinda of show off your work, I might put it on the, um, the middle school pulse with your permission, of course, but uh, that's really, so the two purposes, something for me to grade that shows proof of work and then something that we could maybe add to the show, but that's essentially how you're gonna do it. Uh, below all this, I will show you an example that I've just made just for fun, just silliness on origami because origami has nothing to do with uh, the exploring tech class, but I'm going to make, I think a dinosaur or something like that with origami, just to show you what I mean. And so you get an idea of, oh, this is how he makes it. And then you apply it to whatever you might be doing. The, using the digital music, tech twos, um, whatever you might be doing, this is how you make a proof of work video. Okay, good luck.